I love Disney World. Can you tell from my hat that was made when I was like four years old? And I love the idea that these parks will never be finished. So here are some of my own ideas and additions to the parks. And I should say that all of these ideas are far easier said than done, but let's just have some fun. I'm going to be going park to park with new ideas, at least I think so, and pitch to you my ideas of what could come to Disney World in the future. Let's start off with everybody's favorite park, the free one, Disney Springs. Do we count it as a park? Hold on, there's just one idea. I'm going to get to it real quick. Disney clearly understands that Disney Channel is a profitable source of nostalgia and beloved shows and movies. So I thought to myself, what if there was a store specifically dedicated to that sweet, sweet Disney nostalgia? Even better, what if that store was Disney Channel nostalgia? <laughs> The Gravity Falls Mystery Shack. You don't need to know the show to enjoy what's inside, or to even be drawn in by the exciting concept of mystery. But for those who want to know, this is the central location in the hit animated Disney show Gravity Falls, where mysteries and adventure await. The interior could be similar or the same to the show, including maybe a fun interactive vending machine, maybe some of the exhibits in the show. Disney is the expert at telling immersive, grand, exciting stories, and I think this would be worth making, especially not only as it would function as a fun photo op for the fans of the show, but also a great place to buy all your favorite DCOM merchandise. It's a store that hasn't been done before, but would work wonders at Disney Springs. Okay, I had my fun. Let's move on to our first actual park, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Not a zoo. Not a zoo. Not a zoo. Not a zoo. This park's great as is right now, but here are some random ideas I'd like to see. Number one, a Dino Land overhaul. I actually love the Dinosaur Land of Disney, the absolute incredible effort put into the land and the theming and even the pavement, but I completely understand why things needed to change. But I value the dinosaur theming as it always was an idea in the park to begin with. So I think maintaining the dinosaur theming would work great, but with an overhaul. My first idea for Dino Land, an Indiana Jones and the dinosaur related story. Indiana Jones needs help from you, an esteemed paleontologist, to help find the golden dinosaur bones of a particular notable species. Blah, 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 blah. If we want to be really cruel, it's the dinosaur from the dinosaur ride. <laughs> However, a gang of vaguely European crooks try to get the bones first, so you and Indy must traverse through the dark forest to get the bones hidden in an ancient temple before they do. Basically all of the best moments in the ride from Disneyland, but brought here under the context of a new story. If I'm not mistaken, I think the dinosaur ride is already the same layout as the Indiana Jones ride from Disneyland. And I believe they're already going to turn it into an Indiana Jones ride, but I'm just pitching my own little story for it. Idea number two, bring back Rivers of Light. This was a great show, so I'd bring it back, of course. It was fun and exciting. I had a good time with it, and I think after the kite show Disney created, it'd be worth going back to the well to on this one. <laughs> idea number three, I would love, this isn't really a new idea, but I just need to mention it here, a Lion King dark ride. Maybe even make this a boat ride or something, I don't know. The idea has been talked about to death, but as someone who is not very well educated on the subject of zoning laws and all that stuff, I've heard that there is a section right by the Festival of Lion King where this could possibly go. I think a Lion King dark ride would be incredible. Okay, my last idea, my fourth idea, my biggest idea. It's kind of kooky crazy, I don't know if it'll work. In the same vein as Pandora the Avatar Land, Marvel comes to the Animal Kingdom, Wakanda, World of Black Panther. This could be anything from a massive land where Wakanda has set up an embassy and is inviting you in, or simply a cool ride. I'm thinking of a dark ride with a cross between the excitement of Flight of Passage Avatar ride in Pandora, but also the fun comic booky feel the Spider-Man ride has in Universal Studios. The point is, I want a thrill ride where I see Black Panther battle some awesome villains. I know there's a pretty hefty Marvel Universal Parks deal, and I don't know if Black Panther is included in all of that, but if not, I think something like this would definitely be worthwhile. Okay, that's all it for Animal Kingdom. Get them out of here. Now we're up for the Hollywood movie making. For my idea, I want to reinforce the movie making feel that I loved so much as a kid. What can Hollywood studios do to bring the fun back to movies? Here's some of my ideas, but again, I'd love to know yours, especially down in those comments, whether they're your original ideas or something you heard or based off of mine, whatever. Idea number one, which has a few different parts to it. If Rock and Roller Coaster has to leave, 
the rights are going out apparently, the band isn't interested anymore apparently, blah 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 blah, whatever reason. Things might need to change. Here are some ideas, and I don't remember which of the following aren't mine. It's entirely possible none of these are. Idea A, a goofy movie power line ride. It's awesome, it's original to Disney, it's nostalgic. Worst case scenario, a bunch of kids and preteens ride the ride not knowing what it's about and then walk off having eye to eye or stand out stuck in their head and wanting to watch the movie. Which I, I, I honestly haven't seen it yet. I know, I know. But I think this would be perfect. You, Goofy, and Max want to go see Powerline in concert and you've got to get there ASAP in Goofy's stretched limo service. Of course, Goofy will be the one driving the car. Idea B, Muppet Ride slash Electric Mayhem Ride. I don't know, that'd be fun. It's just kind of the same concept, but with like the Muppets, that's fun. Idea C, Stitch's Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride. It's fresh, it brings Stitch back to the parks more after his ride closed at Magic Kingdom and sort of makes him already this mainstay that he already is at the parks. You can even make the ride somewhat galactic themed if you're in a fast moving vehicle in the dark of space. Maybe you're speeding back to Earth to get back home. The whole idea, it sounds fun, especially if we get that awesome Elvis cover in the movie. And finally, idea D. Probably the most simple idea. You just get a different band. Who would you get? It'd be funny if it were Kiss, as Kiss was the first band considered for the ride, I believe so. Other options that I think would really rock include ACDC, Alice Cooper, Ozzy Osbourne. I love this ride, so if it's going to change, I think these might be some good options. Okay. Idea number two for Hollywood Studios. This one is a bit of a hefty one. I mentioned a piece of this earlier but the Muppets need a refresh. One way could be, as I mentioned earlier, to have them take over the rock and roller coaster ride, but I still want them to stick with the Muppet Lands 3D. So a different idea, revamp Muppets 3D and the land as a whole. Make it Muppets Park, where you could see a live taping of the classic Muppet show. Meet some of your favorite Muppets, similar to how you can meet Constantine from Muppets Most Wanted. Dine at Pizza Rizzo's, maybe even a quick service option to add to it. Shop at the Muppet Studio Store. And as a big idea I'm bringing back from the days when Jim Henson was still involved, ride on the Great Muppet Movie Ride. This idea was shelved, unfortunately, due to, unfortunately, Jim's passing. But I think this is the perfect time to bring it back, as the great movie ride has closed for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which is a great ride, but I think this is the perfect time to bring it back. A ride where the Muppets take you on a backlot tour, just like how they had in the earlier days of Hollywood Studios, but all messed up and recreated by the Muppets. I'd even throw in a story that Fozzie Bear and Kermit put the whole movie ride back together. If Disney commits this much to the Muppets, a property that so many Disney fans love, including myself, I know I will flock. Because right now, all people really use it for is for nostalgia and walking by to go to Star Wars land. Speaking of which, here's something I would add to a Star Wars land, a Star Wars ride featuring Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Leia, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda. I know that Disney is working with Galaxy's Edge as though it were involved in the current timeline and story at large. But I think Rise of Skywalker sucked. Universal Studios does Harry Potter rides and all of them feature our favorite characters all at different points in their stories. It's why I'd consider the Harry Potter lands at Universal Studios to be the best lands at any theme park I've ever been to. I feel like I'm there experiencing the stories that I love. I think it would be really beneficial if Star Wars embraced Star Wars and enjoyed the whole continuity in their parks rather than just the sequel trilogy which has left a very bland bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Also, and this is kind of a separate thing, on the Harry Potter land thing, they have a magic scavenger hunt game in the parks and I think that would be awesome if Star Wars can also do a fun game like that. No, not scanning QR codes on crates. Disney has a great version of what this could be in Adventureland called A Pirate's Adventure, Treasures of the Seven Seas. You use your magic band and are provided a treasure map to solve different mysteries and adventures around the land. And it's super easy and fun. And it's awesome to see how in-depth the story can go and how different props all over the land can work. I loved this when I was a kid and I still love it as an adult. And lest I forget the classic Agent P, Kim Possible, DuckTales adventure in Epcot. I think it would be awesome if Disney was able to make a force-related scavenger hunt game in the Star Wars land without QR codes. And idea number four, I want to bring back a land that's kind of nostalgic for me. You don't have to, but I kind of love it. Pixar Plaza. It's perfect. I want more. This is somewhat connected to my next and final idea for Hollywood Studios, but I think bringing back more of a Pixar presence to the park would be amazing. Maybe roping it in more with Animation Courtyard. It's right there. It's somewhat next to the Toy Story land. 
I don't know. Okay, that was a lot of ideas for Hollywood Studios. It's just my favorite. I think it's my... No, it's not. I can't choose. I love them all. I promise to maybe not be so in-depth for our next park, Epcot. I wanted to emphasize the concept, as some people online put it so beautifully, that Epcot feels amazing if we think of it as Disney slash world. Come for the Disney fun that welcomes families in, stay for the world education, whatever that might mean to you. Here are some ideas that I think can help reinforce that feeling in Epcot. Okay, number one, this one's the easiest. Journey into imagination needs an overhaul ASAP. Everyone knows it, we all love Figment, update the ride, it'll be so awesome. Figment is already basically the park landmark mascot character, so I think this would be a slam dunk idea. Idea number two. Okay, the rest of my ideas focus more on my favorite parts of the park, other than Test Track, the World Showcase. First off, I love the Three Caballeros ride, but I think this needs to be either expanded, updated, or replaced with Coco. I'd prefer to add Coco to the pavilion as a second ride, but I understand that there's not a lot of room. I just think that you need to jazz up the rides portion of the Mexico Pavilion more as everything else in the pavilion is absolutely incredible. Idea number three, please bring back the Mary Poppins ride. It was going to be a Cherry Tree Lane addition to London, and I believe it was probably soft canceled due to the fact that there's COVID. It just seemed like such a fun expansion to an already incredible section of the park. I don't know if logistics got in the way or anything like that, but as a fan of Mary Poppins, I say reconsider. I think it was really grand and I would love to see it. Okay, the rest of my ideas are kind of really, really vague just because I think Epcot's already an excellent park. I, w I did write this before the, the middle section opened back up. So that maybe do something there. <laughs> idea number four, Mount Fuji roller coaster. That's it. And idea number five, you could add new pavilions. Maybe you can add Spain, a Rhine River cruise ride. Scratch that. Idea number, real idea number five, I forgot about this. There was a new pavilion planned that looked really awesome, and then I, I don't know what happened with it. I haven't been to the parks. The play pavilion was a cool idea. I would add a inside-out ride or pavilion or something like that. I would make the showcase attraction a ride based on inside-out, like the Despicable Me ride in Universal Studios, a 4D theater show where maybe you are going into Riley's mind trying to save a certain memory with the help of all the new emotions. There's a lot of possibilities and a 4D show attraction is a pretty compact area that you only have to fulfill. So I don't know, I think that'd be awesome. I love this park already and I think it's great. No stress about any of this, except you should definitely overhaul Figment, please God. And finally, we arrive to the is it the happiest place on Earth? Most magical place on Earth? Magic Kingdom. I love this place so much, so let's just get going with the ideas. Here are some random ideas I loved hearing about or coming up with. Number one, a Tomorrowland rebrand might be helpful, along with a Space Mountain overhaul. That's right, I'm a Space Mountain hater. Don't give me a concussion and expect me to love it. I get it, it's people's favorite ride. It's also a ride that I feel the most pain on. It hurts, it's old, it doesn't feel classic or nostalgic to me anymore, but more like a ride waiting to be refreshed. I think updating Space Mountain to be smoother but keeping the same excitement and thrill would be awesome. Also, there was a Space Mountain theme made by Dick Dale from back in the day that I don't know if they use anymore, I don't think they do. Bring this back, it's a bop. Idea number two, a Cinderella slash princess dark ride. I would have the princess meet and greet be replaced by this. Cinderella doesn't have a ride at the parks, but neither does a lot of these other Disney princesses. What if this whole ride was a conglomeration of different princess scenes and moments? Again, way easier said than done. It's just a random idea, but I don't know, it might be fun. And I believe these scary stories with Snow White or something like that used to be there, so I think it used to be a ride space. Idea number three. This one I'm not as married to, but it's an idea I wrote a while ago and I'm going to stick to my guns. A Toontown return. Including the Barnstormer and Dumbo, I'd bring back the Toontown of the old days I enjoyed as a kid with some fun additions to make it more original to the park. Maybe a Donald Duck ride, a Chip and Dale ride. For some reason I have here meet and greets like with Santa. I don't know. And then the marquee attraction, a Toontown transit ride. This was a ride that was originally pitched back in the day for Roger Rabbit, but I would update it to be sort of a Star Tours, but for Mickey cartoons, almost like a House of Mouse ride. Okay, and now I'm going to just throw in the idea that everybody suggests for Magic Kingdom, 
Villain's Land. Cool. Okay, we got everything. And those are all my ideas for Disney World attractions that could be from somebody that doesn't know engineering, zoning laws, rights issues. Um, I'm a writer. I went to art school. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and I'll catch you... What was that? There might be a fifth park? That's, that's too much, but... Okay, I guess I'll pitch it. I don't know what I would call this fifth park, so for now it's called Fifth Park. And I found one idea for this park that I immediately glommed onto, but I've worked to put my own spin on it. The concept for this park will be seasons. A summer land, a fall land, a winter land, and a spring land. Maybe the center is something time related, like, oh, it's a beautiful... Is it raining? For the summer land, you can do rides with Lion King or Luca or Lilo and Stitch, Moana, maybe even a Goofy movie. For spring, maybe you do something Tinkerbell related with Pixie Hollow, Tangled, maybe some princess stuff. For the fall, you have Turning Red, maybe Coco, Winter, Frozen. You could do Beauty and the Beast. If you really want to be bold, and I'm talking bold, Disney. If you really want to be bold, Cool Runnings Ride. You won't, but overall, again, these are just my ideas. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Will any of these be announced tomorrow? Haha, -ha, no. But can you blame a writer for writing? You know what I'm saying, dog? Yes, yes you can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the parks. That's not my normal outro.